If Vlad the Impaler had not emerged victorious from this struggle, he would have uh, quickly disappeared into the oblivion of history. No one would have heard of him today. Can you imagine that? Having come to the throne not long ago, Vlad had to deal with his uh, personal as well as uh, with his family's old enemies. Strengthened in his position, the young Voivod was about to take the riskiest decision of his life and face the most dangerous domestic enemy a Valachian Voivod of that time could face. One who dreamed of becoming himself Voivod and who in reality had ruled the country for years, which is why he earned the nickname the Great. The confrontation quickly turned into a kind of internal war of proportions, providing the authors of the Dracula stories with more material to demonize the Voivod. But it was resolved ingeniously and unexpectedly by the young offspring of the Dracula family. Greetings, my name is Adrian Gheorghe, I'm a professional historian and member of the research team Corpus Draculianum, which aims at publishing all documents of any kind from and about Vlad the Impaler Dracula. The Ottomans invaded Valachia in 1420 and executed the Voivod Mikhail I along with his wife and two sons. Thus, all the legitimate descendants of Mircea the Elder were dead. What followed were decades of battles for the throne. Mircea's illegitimate sons and the sons of Mircea's brother, Dan I, fought for the throne, the strongest being the Danesht and Draculesht lines. Behind them were the great noble families, each backing their favorites and hoping to reap generous rewards in return. However, one family, namely that of the Boyar Albu, was different. This family was not just uh, seeking to increase their uh, land uh, holdings and privileges by auctioning off uh, their political and military support to the highest bidder, Albu, aimed to overthrow the weakened Basarab dynasty and obtain the country's throne for himself. All he needed for this was a weak, childless voivode. The springboard to power was found in Alexandru Alde. Like Vlad Dracul, Alde was an uh, illegitimate son of uh, Mircea the Elder. But unlike uh, Alde, Vlad Dracul had managed to have a host of sons, namely Mircea, Vlad the Impaler, Radu the, ha the Handsome, and Vlad the Monk, all of whom uh, were politically gifted and who were to dominate the second half of the 15th century. Alvu, nicknamed the Great, rose in the noble hierarchy, becoming in the 1430s the ruler of the Voivodal court and Alda's deputy. This led to the point where people were openly talking about the reign of Alda and Albu. After the natural or unnatural demise of the Voivod, this nobleman was expected to force his election as the new ruler. Standing in the way, however, was Vlad Dracul, a shrewd and clever diplomat. In exile, he had already secured the support of the emperor and of the Transylvanian Saxons. Strengthened by this political capital, Vlad managed to win the sympathy and the respect of the Valachian nobility. After Alda's death, he was quickly elected voivode by the noble uh, assembly, which, disturbed by the excessive uh, ambition of one of, his, uh, of its members, wanted to prevent the establishment of an uh, Albesht dynasty. Alpus' rejection by the nobles was uh, evident in the following Years. Despite a numerous uh, political crisis, 
he failed to, to rise to the power again. His uh, intrigues at the Sultan's court, which were uh, aimed at uh, eventually having Vlad Dracula executed, were unsuccessful. However, Albu was too powerful to be uh, liquidated by Dracula. The Albesht were uh, waiting for, the, for a more favorable uh, moment to seize power and eliminate the Draculesht. While uh, Albu was involved in the murder of uh, Vlad Dracul and his son Mircea cannot be proven. In any case, when Vlad the Impaler ascended to the throne 10 years later in uh, 1456, both the Voivod and uh, Albu initially adopted a waiting, uh, an wait and see attitude. It was however quite uh, predictable that uh, the situation would uh, degenerate into bloodshed. Initially, Vlad the Impaler sought to liquidate other dangerous opponents such as uh, the Turgovishte councilmen, who were uh, impaled in the spring of uh, 1457. You can see it here. Albus' political calculation was that uh, the Danesht and Draculesht would, uh, would fight each other, consuming their uh, resources. Danda Pretender, one of the Nest line, was uh, gathering an army in Brasov to overthrow Vlad the Impaler. The Voivod was therefore trying to prevent Albus' uh, actions by being uh, synchronized with uh, Dan in an attempt to avoid a war on two fronts, for which the strength of his army was not yet big enough. Initially, Vlad the Impaler choose an unspectacular, rather bureaucratic path of uh, confrontation. From uh, 1458 onwards, he refused to recognize the purchase and donation uh, contracts that uh, had been concluded under the Danesht voivod Vlad II, who ruled after the death of uh, Vlad Dracul. Vlad the Impaler's argument was uh, that his father had been uh, the rightful Voivod and his murder the, and usurper Vlad II, the illegitimate one, of course. For this reason, all uh, legal transactions from uh, his reign were judged to be invalid. Every nobleman who purchased uh, certain transactions had, had therefore to come to Vlad's court in Turgoviste and ask there for uh, official written confirmations and, of course, also pay a tax which uh, filled the Voivod's treasury that uh, financed his many military campaigns. This procedure happened not far from the forest of Impaled, which left no doubt as uh, to how the Voivod was solving his uh, problems. It was a huge provocation and Albu was obviously not willing to continue playing the role of uh, the seemingly loyal subject. The situation escalated, however, because of a dispute with, with the Govora monastery not far from Rimniku Vulcea in northern Valachia. It seems that the voivod had uh, transferred to the monastery certain uh, estates that had uh, previously uh, belonged to the Albesht family. This was too much for Albu, who gathered his uh, troops, attacked and burned down the monastery, thus committing the most abominable act possible at that time. According to Wallachian law and to its uh, models in uh, Serbia and the Byzantine world, Plundering a monastery and causing serious uh, harm to monks and uh, priests was uh, punishable by death. Albu thus offered Vlad the Impaler the ideal opportunity to completely wipe out the Albesht family in a way that uh, was uh, legal and as justified as possible and with uh, the approval of the church and uh, of a large part of the nobility. The fact that uh, he judged not only Albu, 
but his uh, entire family was uh, possible due to the uh, medieval Galician principle of collective uh, collective res responsibility in Romania, the Shukubina. That is, if an individual committed a crime, the entire community or family, in a broader sense, of which he, he had, he was a member, was responsible before the law. The details of the decisive, decisive battle between uh, Vlad the Impeller and Albu the Great are not known. But it is uh, assumed that the uh, Voivodal army won a victory near the Old River, where he also held the trial of the captured family. The sentence was, of course, death. There are uh, no reports of any impalements. Apparently, Vlad the Impeller decapitated the Albest in accordance to their uh, noble privileges, to which they were uh, legal, legally entitled. Here, why? In any case, in the Valachian memorial culture, this episode is uh, recorded as a just punishment inflicted by the sovereign on, the, on a person for sacrilege. Vlad the Imperial distributed the property of the destroyed uh, monastery and, no doubt about this, also the property of the Albesht among his uh, supporters. This uh, considerably uh, strengthened the position of the Voivod and his party, both militarily and financially, laying the foundations for uh, victorious operations against the Transylvanian Saxons and the pretender Dan. Rest assured that uh, we will discuss uh, this episode in future videos. But be even more sure that uh, as he has uh, His Majesty used to end his letter in Slavonic, I can uh, also wish you, may God rejoice over you. Bye!